Hello from the Yip Yap team. These are the newest Pipsqueak tutorial videos explaining and demonstrating all the cool new features in version 2 of Yip Yap software. The first step is to set up and register a new Pipsqueak using the Yip Yap smartphone app. Once you've downloaded the app from the App Store, open and log in with Facebook. If you don't use Facebook, you can register as a Yip Yap user with your email address. To change your username or photo, tap the Yip Yap logo in the upper left corner. After being connected to Wi-Fi, Pipsqueak will receive a registration code. Tap the plus sign to register a new Pipsqueak to your account. Before users are allowed to connect with a Pipsqueak, Yip Yap uses double authentication to verify user identity. To verify an email address, retrieve the code or have the code resent to your email account by pressing Resend Confirmation Code. To verify identity, Yip Yap uses a one-time $1 financial transaction associated with a credit card. Either scan the card or enter the number manually. Now that your identity is verified, we can begin building out this Pipsqueak's individual private network. Tap the Pipsqueak name, then tap Connections and the plus sign. Oops, we still haven't completed our account verification, so no connections are permitted yet. This is a security measure. We can go back to the app home screen, tap the exclamation in the right corner, and enter the email verification code sent to our email inbox. If you don't see one, tap Resend Confirmation Code in the lower right corner. Once authorized, the exclamation mark on the home screen turns into a shield with a check mark on it. To change the photo and username on Pipsqueak, tap the Pipsqueak icon in the upper left corner. This name and photo is how this Pipsqueak will appear to all connections in its network. Now we're ready to make connections. Create new connections with a Pipsqueak by tapping the Pipsqueak name, then tapping Connections and the plus sign. Choose a connection from your contacts. Then select Connect to a Smartphone and get connected. A connection request is sent via text message with a link to download and open the Yip Yap app. Once the new connection logs into the app, and accepts the request, the new connection will appear in your smartphone app. You can see that the new connection's Yip Yap username, Michael Smith, overwrote the previous contact name, AA Michael. <music> to set permissions for a Pipsqueak connection, tap the Pipsqueak name, then tap Connections. Then tap the smartphone connection you wish to set permissions for. To turn permissions on and off, slide the switch back and forth. Tapping the name of the permission will bring up a brief description of that feature. The ability to send music and games through the app and purchase content from the Yip Yap store are coming soon. To set up Pipsqueak's YouTube player, tap the Pipsqueak name, then tap YouTube. Select the Google account you wish to pull YouTube playlists from and tap Allow. The Yip Yap app will pull over all your saved public playlists. You can add unlimited videos to a playlist and have as many different playlists as you'd like. Once a playlist has been selected, Open the YouTube app on Pipsqueak. Use the right and left arrows to scroll through the videos on the chosen playlist. When changing playlists, back out of the YouTube player on Pipsqueak and open again. Each time the YouTube player launches, the playlists are refreshed.
to disable YouTube and remove it from Pipsqueak, simply slide the YouTube button off. It may take a minute or two for the Pipsqueak to update depending on connection quality. To disable individual features on Pipsqueak, slide the switches off. Keep in mind, Pipsqueak needs to be connected to Wi-Fi to receive commands. Calling, YouTube, videos, photos, music, and games can all be removed easily from Pipsqueak. To block Pipsqueak completely, put it in timeout. Tap the smiley face and select how long the timeout will be. Within a minute or two, Pipsqueak screen will lock and a countdown timer will display. To remove timeout, simply tap the sad face and cancel the timeout. Connections can share videos with Pipsqueak. Tap the videos line and then tap the folder in the upper right corner. Choose the video you want to share and let it upload to the cloud. Open the video player on Pipsqueak and look for the video. Each time the video player is opened, it refreshes. Length of the video and connection speed determine transfer time. To view or delete a video using the app, tap the video thumbnail. Now we see the video has been removed from Pipsqueak. Sharing photos follows the same process as sharing videos. Photos can be cropped and resized. Photos upload much more quickly than videos. Let's check the photo gallery on Pipsqueak and there's our picture. Michael was previously added as one of Pink Princess's connections. If we look at his permissions on Angela's phone, we see that the only permission he has access to for Pink Princess are the ones given to him. The key next to his name indicates he has full access including the ability to manage permissions for Pink Princess, which is desired in this case because he is Pink Princess's daddy. By managing permissions, you can customize the relationship between your child and their connections within their individual private network. For Michael to share a photo with Pink Princess, it's the same process as it was for Angela, Pink Princess's master account holder. Photos and videos that connections share with a Pipsqueak can be seen by all approved connections. Michael's shared picture can also be deleted by any connection with photo access. Once deleted, the photo is removed from the smartphones as well as from Pipsqueak. Connections can also share YouTube playlists they've created. Now we have a case where Pink Princess won't stop watching YouTube, but Dad doesn't want to get out of bed to take it away. Pipsqueak needs a timeout, and he has permission to do so because Angela, P. 
Pink Princess's master account holder has allowed it. To take Pipsqueak out of timeout, tap the sad face. Notice that Pipsqueak's most recent activity is displayed next to the Pipsqueak name. To enable Wi-Fi on Pipsqueak, open the settings and select Manage Wi-Fi. Refresh the network list and select the network to connect to. Enter the network password the first time. To call a pipsqueak from a smartphone, tap the calling icon next to the user photo. Answer and hang up calls on pipsqueak by tapping the yip yap button. The first time you make a call from the app, you will be asked to allow access to your phone's microphone. In order to receive calls from Pipsqueak, we need to enable notifications. Open Settings, Notifications, scroll down to Yip Yap, then be sure all notifications are turned on and tap Alerts in the lower right corner. Now when Pipsqueak calls and the Yip Yap app is closed, an alert will drop down to notify you of the incoming call. Tap the alert to be taken to the Yip Yap app where you can either answer or reject the incoming call. Now, Pink Princess will call Daddy on his Android phone, and she can tap the right arrow on Pipsqueak to put her call on loudspeaker. Now Michael is going to register his son Kershaw's pipsqueak and send a connection request to connect Kershaw's pipsqueak to his sister Pink Princess's pipsqueak. Michael chooses Pink Princess's parent, Angela, from the contacts list. Then selects connect to a pipsqueak and get connected. A text message link is sent to Angela. She can retrieve it from her messages and it takes her back to the Yip Yap app with a pop-up allowing her to choose which of her pipsqueaks to connect Kershaw to. Now we see Kershaw as a connection with Pink Princess's pipsqueak. Now Michael is going to connect Kershaw to Angela also. This time Michael selects connect to a smartphone, then get connected. Michael can manage Angela's permissions for Kershaw the same way she managed his permissions for Pink Princess. To delete a connection to Pipsqueak, tap the Pipsqueak name, then Connections, then the name of the connection to delete. Then tap the trash can with the X in the lower right corner of the screen. Once Michael deleted Angela's connection from Kershaw, we see Kershaw disappear from both smartphone apps. Kershaw and Pink Princess are still connected, however. 
Deleting a pipsqueak to pipsqueak connection follows the same steps. Here, Angela is deleting Kershaw's connection to Pink Princess. Once the connection has been deleted, we see Kershaw's picture disappear from Pink Princess's pipsqueak. Pipsqueak can connect to a smartphone like a Bluetooth headset, so calls can be routed through Pipsqueak instead of parents handing over their own phones. Add a Bluetooth connection the same way as a Wi-Fi connection, but select Create a Bluetooth Speed Dial. Then, get connected. Change the photo by opening the connection and tapping the Yip Yap phone or Yip Yap icon. To connect Pipsqueak via Bluetooth to a smartphone, turn Bluetooth on from the Settings menu. Manage Bluetooth, then Enable Bluetooth. Tap Make Discoverable, then search for the Pipsqueak using your phone's Bluetooth menu. Once connected to Bluetooth, Pipsqueak will dial out through the connected phone using only the approved Bluetooth contacts loaded through the app. If Bluetooth is not connected, the Bluetooth speed dial does not work. Be sure to turn Bluetooth off on Pipsqueak when not in use. This will help prolong battery life and prevent unwanted calls from ringing through to Pipsqueak. Although Bluetooth is now disabled and I cannot make Bluetooth calls, I have not disabled Wi-Fi, so I can continue to make and receive Wi-Fi calls. To delete a pipsqueak from the smartphone app, tap the pipsqueak then tap the username or photo in the upper left corner of the app. Tap Delete, then OK to confirm. The next time the deleted pipsqueak is connected to Wi-Fi, it will reset. To obtain a new registration code after resetting a pipsqueak, open Settings and select Get Registration Code. Select the information icon in the lower left corner of the app for useful Yip Yap resources. Here, a user can change their email address, access the Yip Yap user manual, access Yip Yap's terms and conditions, view videos on Yip Yap's YouTube channel. Shop at Yip Yap's web store. Or get information from yipyap.com. A user can also sign out of the app from this menu. You'll notice music, games, and store switches for Pipsqueak. Sharing music and games through the app is not available at this time, but turning the features off and on on Pipsqueak is available. The Yip Yap Content Store is coming soon.